What's up, Meta Nerds? This video is all about the modified Jedi Starfighter used by Yoda during the Clone Wars. Though based on the Eta 2 Interceptor, it differs in nearly every conceivable way, starting with the overall size. The length, width, and height were all reduced, having the dimensions of the Eta 2. Just look at how much larger R2 appears in Yoda's fighter compared to your standard Jedi Starfighter, a ship that was already known for being quite small. Yoda's Starfighter would have been shorter than a clone trooper, or about one-seventh the height of a TIE fighter. It was barely wider than the Senate, and one-tenth as wide as the ARC-170. Its total length was still less than a hut, and less than half the length of a vulture droid. Even the cockpit design was changed from the Eta 2. Although the Jedi Starfighter does have this elongated sphere that ends in this octagonal window, you aren't crazy for thinking Yoda's looks a lot like a TIE fighter. Kuat Driveyards, the people that made the Eta 2, worked closely with Wraith Sinar of Republic Sinar Systems. That company had developed the Scimitar around 32 BBY, and a prototype of something called the Advanced Project ship around 29 BBY. This advanced project was to incorporate some of the Scimitar's elements into a cheap, easy to mass produce ship that could escort cargo vessels. There are no images of this ship, but it had a spherical cockpit and vertical cooling vanes at the ends of a 20 meter wingspan. Although it was much wider, it was essentially a proof of concept for the later TIE Fighter, which was actually being produced in 22 BBY. So TIE Fighters were around, even though we don't see them on screen during the Clone Wars, so maybe instead of shaping a new cockpit for this smaller, customized Eta 2, they may have just popped in the eyeball from a TIE Fighter. Or they did just make a custom one that was more rounded off, so that there wasn't all that unnecessary legroom. Either way, the interior has the same data screens as those found in the Eta 2, with similar controls as well. Its light laser cannons must have been either weaker, or could fire for a shorter time, since the barrels are smaller than what you see on your standard Jedi fighter, and there wouldn't be as much room for Tabana gas on board. Which also makes me wonder about how long it could go before refueling, because it uses these full-sized ion engines. And a bit of a side note, yes, the Jedi were all riding around in what you could call twin ion engine fighters. But that is true for a lot of other Star Wars ships as well. Yoda's Starfighter had its wings shortened, but still retained the S-foil back panels, which would lift during long flights to radiate heat. With the combination of astromech and hyperspace ring, this ship could get through hyperspace at class 1 speeds. And I would assume Yoda's was faster than the standard Eta 2, which had an already impressive top speed of 1500 km per hour, or 932 miles per hour. That was faster than nearly everything besides the TIE Defender. And these customizations probably cost a pretty credit, as the high maneuverability variant of the standard Eta 2 costs 320,000, which is six times the cost of a TIE Fighter, or equal to 16 Vulture Droids. I guess it is fitting that such a special ship would be used by Yoda when he went on one of the most profound journeys in all of Star Wars history. It was on this ship that Yoda traveled to his future home of Dagobah, and where the Force itself guided him to the birthplace of Midichlorians. Here, the ship was actually controlled by the Force, before Yoda was then instructed to visit the Sith homeworld of Korriban. So that's it for Yoda's Starfighter, but you definitely want to hear these cool facts and behind the scenes stuff. The ship first appeared in the Clone Wars episode Voices, and the history of the TIE Fighter comes from the Essential Guide to Vehicles and Vessels, and the Guide to Warfare. If you look close on the wing of Yoda's fighter, you will see this interesting looking symbol. That is actually Yoda's crest, and it can be found in multiple places in Yoda's quarters. The artist said that he was inspired by the symbol for Feng Shui when he introduced it in Attack of the Clones. So that's it for Yoda's Modified Eta 2, also known as Yoda's Starfighter. If you want to connect with us, help support the channel, or pick up some of the sources that were used to make this video, be sure to check out the links in the description. Special shout out to our supporters over on Patreon, but most important of all, remember, always the force will be with you. <laughs>